Welcome to the British School YouTube channel for free classes, free courses, free master classes for students and teachers as well. So today we are going to analyze, explore and make out the continuation of the reading passage second under the heading sleep should be prescribed, what those late nights out could be costing you. Actually, we have already done with the questions 14 till 22nd. Now we are going to start and go directly to our questions. And here it is, we do have the task type of question of choose to let us. So the list below mentions some things that individuals can do to ensure they get the right amount of sleep. Which two of these things are recommended by Matthew Volker? And on the right corner of our slide, we do have an answer. Sorry, the answers D and E in either order. So keeping a regular record of hours spent sleeping and reducing your activity level at a set time of day. Actually, we are going to analyze, explore, and make out um, the definitions, paraphrasing words, and uh, hinting words, how we found uh, the answers, and many others. So you need to read the context set in statement beginning. We have already done this. And it will help you which paragraph contains the information you need, actually. So, uh, each option from A to E is based on an idea in the paragraph for, uh, in the text for sure. But you must choose the options that reflect Matthew Volker's recommendations. So here it is, highlighted words, Matthew Volker recommendations. But we need to choose and select two of them. The options do not appear in the same order, guys, as the information in the text as going like this so let's go to paragraph f and paragraph f says we can from here also systematically measure it means record you can paraphrase this verse like it is our sleep by using personal tracking devices, right? Regular record, systematically measure sleep, right? Then paragraph F says the rest of information. Firstly, from here it is, we could think about getting ready for sleep in the same way we prepare for the end of a workout, say on a spin bike. People use alarms to wake up, Walker says. So why don't we have a bedtime alarm? Why don't we have a bedtime alarm equally at a set time of day? To tell us we have got half an hour that we should start cycling down, should start cycling down equally to reducing activity. Did you get it? Yes, it is. I would like to talk about the distractions. Distraction A. Taking a natural product that encourages sleep. So also melatonin is a hormone that occurs naturally in the body and is also sold by chemists to aid sleep. Walker does not specifically recommend buying and using it as a product. B. Avoiding looking at brightly lit screens after dark. The test says while some researchers here it is while some researchers recommend banning digital devices, it means bright screens, from the bedroom, 
Because of their effect on the sleep-inducing hormone melatonin, Walker believes that technology will eventually be an aid to sleep as it helps us to discover more about the way we function. So, it doesn't say if Walker agrees with this idea. We are only told that Walker believes that technology could in fact be useful in helping people to sleep better. Distraction C. Negotiating layer start times for work with employers. We are only told that companies here it is, should think about rewarding sleep. So companies, it means employers, reward staff by giving them time of work if they can show they are sleeping properly. Volker doesn't suggest that staff should ask to start work at a later time in the morning. So that's why we have chosen just two of them, G and E, keeping a regular record of hours spent sleeping and reducing your activity level at a set, uh, at a set time of day. So guys, if you need the whole information, the whole reading passage with the whole questions and uh, answers, details, uh, answers you just reach us via email and uh, our experts and examiners will feedback you uh, as soon as possible i consider you got this information very properly that's all for this reading passage uh, second lesson